Happy Halloween, everyone. Welcome to This Day in Philly Sports History for October 31st, 2022. Raise your hand if you're 7-0. and What a game. I mean, just a dominant performance. And granted, listen, the Steelers are starting rookie quarterback. They're banged up on defense. However, the I was impressed. The Eagles did exactly what they should have done to that team yesterday. And it's, it's good to see. I will say there's a definitely a larger number of Steelers fans in the crowd than what I expected. But for those of you keeping score at home, everybody was well behaved. This is new Philly now. People don't fight. Um, but even even the Steelers fans, they knew they they just were looking forward to seeing their their team play and just overall impressed with the team and in, in all facets of the game. Special teams, the return game is still a little. A little shaky, but I mean, at this point, we're nitpicking. So uh, it was good to see them score points in the second half, which is always nice. Uh, just like I said, an overall good game. I'm hoping they can stay focused. I'm anxious to see what Sirianni and the coaching staff does heading into Thursday's game because it is the classic let down trap game that they they could be facing. So hopefully, he has them ready to play, which. By the looks of the way things are going this year, he will. I mean, Jalen is absolutely going to be be fired up and ready. Uh, just th- those balls he was throwing to A.J. Brown were just absolute perfect. Just dropping them on a dime. It was, like I said, it was good to see. It was probably one of the better all-around performances I've seen from the Eagles in a while. They easily cover the the ten and a half point spread on our bet, so that def, that improves our record to three and f- five now on the season uh, because of that Dallas bet. Well, it might as well count it for the official rankings. But yeah, we're three we're three and five on official bets, so we're we're turning that number around, which is nice. But getting to this day in Philly sports history, I I wasn't sure which way to go with this, and usually to give you a glimpse into what I do. I do the research uh, usually a month before and have it laid out on which days that or which events I want to cover for that day. This one, I didn't have to do the research because there's three that stick out to me and I could not decide which one to go to. So we're going to do all three of them today. So it might be a little bit longer of a pod than what we're used to, but but that's okay because it's Halloween. And the first one and probably we'll start... The, the latest and work our way forward. Uh, the first one, and it's not necessarily the most positive, but back in 1993 on Halloween, I believe it was a Monday night football game or Sunday afternoon. Like I, I just remember it was dark when this game was playing. The Eagles lost to the Cowboys 23-10, to 10, and it just, he, I mean, it, Emmett Smith just destroyed us. He ran for like 237 yards, and I just remember watching it, and it just was miserable it was raining it looked like the crowd was miserable the team they they just did not come out ready to play so that's the first halloween memory for a philly sports event that stands out to me probably perhaps the best and most fun on this day in philly sports history 2008 this was the phillies championship parade and i it was just complete bedlam and pandemonium it, it was great to see we I was living in Roxborough at the time. We weren't able to get on a bus. We weren't able to get on a train because every time the trains would come by, they were just full of people coming from the suburbs. So we decided to drive down, which was they were telling you not to do. We were able to get down into the city, no problem. Before the parade even started, we were able to go up and down Broad Street. And just to see the massive amounts of people was just great. We ended up parking in South Philly. A lady said, I'm not going anywhere. It's Halloween. Block my driveway in. I give you my permission. So we ended up watching it at Broad and Bigler, which was near the end of the parade. And it just, I think the, the, the city of Philadelphia learned its lesson for the Eagles parade because it was very well blocked off and everything was situated the way it should have been. But I just remember it, like it, there was no barricades. We were just like, it was pandemonium. By the time the players got down to us, they were feeling pretty good. We were feeling pretty good. Like people were throwing beers to Jason Worth. It was just, just a very, very good time. And as I mentioned the other day, I feel as though the Phillies were, in my opinion, the right team to 
end the championship drought and do what we had to do. And I, and I think for me, it was just that first love baseball and just being able to go to that parade was just a, a surreal feeling. But one of the, the biggest sports memories I have as a Philadelphia fan, and that happened on this day in 2008. And uh, the last one I have is more to me, it, it, this is a personal one for me, but it was perhaps in 2015, the biggest game, and th- I can't think of any bigger game. The biggest game in Temple football sports history was on this day in 2015. That was the year that uh, the, they were ranked in the top 20. Yeah, they, were, they had the game against Notre Dame coming in to Lincoln Financial Field. I, I wanted to go so bad, but we had a two-week-old, three-week-old, uh, or actually, no, I guess at that time, he was like a month and a half old. But either way, very young kid at the time. So we handed out candy for trick-or-treating and watched the game uh, on TV. But Temple was ranked number 21 in the country going into that. Notre Dame was number nine. The Owls were undefeated, 7-0. and Notre Dame was 6-1. and College game day was down in Old City in front of the uh, Independence Hall. And it just was an electric atmosphere, I think, that week going into it. uh, You had even Villanova fans were were pumped up for us, uh, which was pretty cool. And it was just a good game. Temple played them tough. They were down 14-10 to at the half. They did battle back. They took the lead with about five minutes left in the game, and I was feeling good. I'm like, they're going to pull off this upset. And I I wouldn't even consider it that big of an upset at the time. Like, if you take the the team names out of it and just put the number nine team playing the number 21 team, yes, it's an upset, but I, I think you wouldn't be shocked if it happened. I think you throw in the fact that it's Temple and Notre Dame, and all of a sudden it's like, holy shit the temple owls what but um will fuller from philly and um i think he went to i forget whether he went to roman or saint joe's prep but he went to one of the catholic schools um will fuller you might know him better as the fantasy dud that he is um good for big games and then you start him and then he goes missing for 10 days and then or 10 games and then gets injured um, but on this day, he t- caught a touchdown pass from Deshaun Kaiser with two minutes left to to end the Owls' dreams uh, and ruin many, or at least my, fantasy games uh, throughout the, throughout history. But on this day in Philly sports history, 1993, Emmett Smith Smith torched the Eagles in a terrible Halloween game in the rain for 237 yards. The Phillies parade for their championship in 2008. And Temple lost to Notre Dame 24-20 at the link, but college game day and everybody came down. So it was a big day, I think, in Philly sports history. Big game for the Phils tonight. This is the the pivotal game in the the series, I think. I think if they lose this game, we might might have some issues, but I don't see them doing it. You got Noah Syndergaard on the mound. I think he's going to be dialed in. He is well-rested, looking to... You hopefully use the support of the crowd. The crowd's going to be electric tonight. So, Philly, if you're going down there, let's go. I want to hear you on TV. But go, Phils. Congrats to the Eagles for their 7-0 start. I also want to take a minute to say congrats to the Philadelphia Union, who will be playing for the, the champion, MLS championship next Saturday in L.A. Don't really know too much, but I want to give a shout out to my soccer fans because it is a big deal for them. And I know the past couple of years they've been trying to get over that hump and they finally did. So let's bring it home. Let's bring home a World Series this weekend. Let's just, you know what? Let's let's just become the city of champions. Let's do it. It's Halloween. This is hashtag new Philly. Let's do it. Go have yourselves a Monday. Be safe out there tonight. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.